What up, y'all? Drew, Dirty Mid Media, man. I just wanted to pop at y'all real quick because I just heard a new Eminem joint, and I just had a few things to say about it, man. It's called Nat, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it's it's uh, I just wanted to say a few things about Shady real quick before I like 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 the song is fire. Check the song the fuck out. His wordplay and his lyricism is always top notch. It's a catchy joint. <clears throat> it's actually kind of laid back. You know what I mean? The beat is pretty fire. I, the production level is fire. I like, uh, I just like, uh, I like this, uh, this vibe from Eminem, man. It's a little bit different and a little bit more, uh, not quite as, like, it is serious. It has a serious undertone, you know what I'm saying? As far as, but like the sound of it isn't quite so dramatic, you know what I mean? Or quite so, so, uh, intense, I guess, you know what I mean? But, but, some of the content, you just got to listen to it, man. I've only listened to it three or four times. I, I There's a lot of shit I haven't caught yet as far as like uh, as as that dude's lyricism and wordplay. As far as a writer, he has mad layers in his pen. And really, the reason I put this cam turn this camera on be is because I feel like even if you don't like Eminem, man, you have to appreciate someone that's 45, 46, 47, whatever, however old he is, and is still as motivated as he is to to create great music, man. You know what I mean? And, and write great and fire shit. You know what I'm saying? And be a phenomenal writer. You know what I mean? Like, and to and to produce fire, fire content and music. You know what I'm saying? And make and put out a good product still. You know what I'm saying? Like, usually when people have that much longevity in the game, man, they they get lazy with their craft, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Eminem is one person that can drop a record. For one, he doesn't have to, he has lately paid attention to the, to the, to the, to the climate of the culture. Cause he's, he, he talks about a lot of it. You know what I'm saying? You can tell he pays a lot of attention, but I just think he should be commended, man, for how long he's been in the game and for, for the, uh, the level of lyricism and how motivated he still is to write fire shit, you know what I mean? And to give people some thought-provoking shit. It's not, I just think you should be commended for that as an artist, for somebody that has done it for so long, man. He, he's been writing at this level for so fucking long and he's still blowing people's minds at this shit. Like, so I want to know if there's a new album coming. There must be. You know, must be. I haven't been been looking too much into it. I've always been a huge Eminem fan. I'm from Michigan. Grand Rap is Michigan. He he. You already know. Around here, he's fucking. Around Michigan, he's he's one of. He's the biggest thing in the world, man. You know what I mean? And in the world, he's the biggest. In America, he's huge, man. Anytime he drops something, anytime he says something, anytime he goes at somebody, anytime it basically breaks the internet when he feels like dropping a record. You know what I mean? I mean, at 45 years old, he broke the what? YouTube record for the amount of, for the amount of plays in the first week or something, 80 million, something in the first day, something crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I can't remember the actual numbers and stats, but yo, that shit was fire. You know what I mean? Like, it's just crazy. The amount of, the amount of, of, of motivation this dude still has to be the best, man. And I feel like having certain people around you like Royce and certain people that are phenomenal with what they do, that makes it easier to stay motivated because I think these dudes are competitive as far as the way they write and make music together. You know what I'm saying? They're competitive with each other. So I just wanted to get on here and say, the record is fire. I like the record. It actually, Eminem always says a bunch of thought provoking shit. You gotta listen to the track multiple times you know what I'm saying? To really, to really grasp a lot of the layers in his pen. And I think he's, t I think he did take another shot at MGK as well. You know what I'm saying? As far as the, uh, they want to come at me with machine guns, something, something. It was in the hook at the beginning. You know what I mean? But they come at me with machine guns, something with dealing, you know what I mean? I think he more or less is, is, is creating the analogy between MGK and a gnat, like he was just a little bother, you know, fuck off me, man, you know what I mean, like, like he was a flea or a gnat, get off me, man, but the track is fire, the joint is fire, shout out to Shady, always dropping fire shit, you know what I'm saying, ever since, ever since that revival shit, man, and I feel like, I feel like he needs, he needs, Eminem is one of the people that need to be, that need to have a conflict, conflict in some way, I mean, really he hasn't, in the lap, 
But I think that conflict started with Revival and all of the fans and all the bloggers. That was the conflict he needed to, to, to set that fire under his ass. And then I knew that Shady was back when that Chloroseptic remix dropped. And I was like, watch. Just like, just like when, when, uh, when, uh, what was it, man? Just like when, uh, you know, which one was it? One of them shit, though, the shitty one in between. Was it a relapse? Relapse. Relapse, right? The one that everybody was mad about as far as lyrically. And then he dropped, then he dropped the album right after that. You know what I'm saying? Within 10 months, you know what I mean? Like, I knew that was gonna happen again is my point. You know what I'm saying? I just woke up, I'm all blew out. So I'm fucking up the, the actual sequence of his albums. But I think it was Relapse, then Recovery. That's what it was. It was Relapse. That shit was like critically bombed on by everybody. Dre did the beats. It was fire as far as the production. But then he, everybody was like left wanting more from him lyrically. And they wanted the old Shady back. Remember, and he dropped Revival like 10 months later. He, he was just mad at the criticism over that album. And I knew when he dropped Revival and took all that criticism from all the bloggers, I knew that he would, I knew he was working on another album immediately, basically is my point. And then when he dropped, when he dropped that Chloroseptic remix and he snapped on it, I was like, yo, he's dropping another record. Trust me, watch, he in shady mode, you know what I mean? And he did, and he did. And now he's been in that mode since, I feel like, of, of just being in snap mode and proving to everybody, look, man, nah, I, I'm, I'm still shady. I'm still that dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm still the man. But go check out the new record, man. That's just fire, man. It's called Nat. He snaps on it. Wordplay is fire. He actually, like, listen to the record, man. He says some shit. He says some meaningful shit, too, man. He, he always has a message, man. He has a lot of layers in his pen. So listen, the sound of the record might sound a little more, more not as serious necessarily, but listen to the words, man. Listen to the words. Because he's saying some shit. So I don't know, man. It's Drew. Dirty Mint Media. I just wanted to do a quick review on the new Eminem shit. Go check it out. And I'll be back at you with probably another, actually I have, a, I have a report on the Pfizer vaccine that I'll be dropping later today. I've been really researching hard and writing for this and I'm proud of, the, I'm proud of what I've come up with and I'm gonna be presenting it to you guys today, but I need to record it first. So that's what I'm gonna do here in a minute. So that should be out by tonight or in the morning. I'm not sure, one or the other. So yeah, man, Dirty Men Media, man. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'm out of here, man.